here we go again. I've been getting a lot of feedback and people coming to me about my last video about haters. So I thought it'd be right if I hit you for part two. Hmm. I don't really gotta break down the urban dictionary over a hater because you really, you should already know. If you don't got no haters, then uh, something fucking wrong with you. <laughs> Just kidding. But this is certain aspects I haven't touched about a hater. Like, there's so different, different haters that come in all different sizes and everything, like fucking candy and shit like that. Like, you just don't know, like a box of chocolate, you just don't know what type of fucking hater you're gonna get in this fucking world. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's different type of haters, and I'm gonna get to some of them, right? But my first hater, I'm gonna get to right now. My first type of hater is, I like to call it is, nigga, I don't know you hater. Or, for what that say. There's people that hate on people because they hear them or, you know, they hear about their whereabouts and they don't like how, how they move in the soul. Like, for example, like, you ever been in a relationship with somebody and, like, that your significant other tells you about that person, about that other person, and then they be like, uh, why are you with that nigga? This, this, and that. You should be with me, this, and that. There's a fucking reason why she ain't with you, bro. That's the way it is, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, why would you hate on this man so and so, right? They want to know about all his whereabouts about, like, or what he do, where he live. Does he live with his mama? Does he got a car? What kind of car he drives? What he does for a living? Um, uh, how he look? What nationality? Does all that shit really matter, man? Because they hate him because they figure, like, oh, how he get that? I wonder how he can stack up to that. Maybe I look good, but my bro, man, like, come on. Maybe she don't want you, man. Like, you hate it. Nigga, I don't know you. And you got those other haters. I like to call these haters on perspective. You know, perspective. You need to understand it because, look, when you see something, it's worth perspective, right? All right, perfect example. Let's say you got, like, a, a new shorty at a job or school or something that should look good. You know, you might have, there's going to be some haters spring out there in the crowd. They ain't going to be able to like, hey, girlfriend, how you doing? Welcome to this place. So, so, nah, there's going to be some bitches like, mm. Why is she wearing that? Why is her hair like that? Is her hair real? Is that weed? This and that? Why are you asking all these fucking questions? Why are you making all these assumptions shit about this girl? You didn't even know the girl. You even talk up to the girl. You even know what the fuck she, you know what I'm saying? Like, the bye bye with that shit. Fellas do the same shit like, oh, you know, I, I, that's probably not his whip. That's probably his daddy's whip. Or those Jordans ain't real. Those shit didn't come out yet. You probably got that shit for fake or some shit. Like, you make all these false exaggerations before you even, the nigga even opens his mouth to you. You don't even know the dude and everything. You just, they're not fucking slander shit about the dude and they're like, what the fuck, like, what the fuck, the fuck. You got some other haters, I like to call this one, how you move haters. How you move haters is those type of haters that, like, they see how you maneuver, how you move, this speaker could be in workplace, school, job, everything, you know, like, it's just, you know, this is how you move, perfect example. Let's say, uh, there's certain things that a lot of people strive for. Let me use mail for this example right here. Right? Let's say there's a fucking position or something you're going for in your job, right? There may be another guy who wants that same position. Everybody want to be the fucking man of this motherfucker. That's how it is in the fucking workplace, right? So, the thing is that you have this one guy striving for something, and then this other guy, you see him doing it, and it's like he gets that point to you before you, you might feel, not you, not saying particularly you, but that hater guy, he might feel a certain way, like, what the fuck, like, this guy, man, this is some bullshit, I, I, I can't allow this happen to me. Or, also, let's say there's a bad bitch at a workplace, or a bad bitch at school, or whatever, or the playground, whatever, you know? And let's say he see how you maneuver, and let's say there's plenty of bad bitches, fuck that, let's make this shit even more interesting, let's say there's plenty of bad bitches, let's say all the bitches are flocking to you, and they see that, niggas know, and girls know how people maneuver, and they now have to talk to you, but they see how you maneuver, they be watching from the sideline, like, hmm, hmm. you know what I'm saying, so that people right there, they might hate on you, like, yo, what the fuck, like, who's this person doing all this stuff, you know what I'm saying, you got those keep you down haters, I'm gonna tell you about those. Keep you down haters is those haters that when you rise up, you doing your thing, they, they, they don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like that. Let's say if it's all love, you my boy, if I'm doing my thing, you should be encouraging me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's say you do your thing, that's just try for me to do my thing. But let's say if I'm doing my thing now and it's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you don't like the look of that. Like, what the fuck is that for? Like, you know what those all love, baby? Like, why you got hate on me for? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? See, those haters I hate the most. You know why? Because you never know who those haters are. You know what I'm saying? Because they could be anybody. You know what I'm saying? They could be your family, your friends, your neighbor, like I said before. And those haters are the ones that, like, they like sneaky. They're like snakes and shit like that, right? And the reason why those people act like that is because 
they're not comfortable seeing you at a high position you was before. They're comfortable seeing you as a little piece of shit that they think you were. And then once you see you rise up and attain certain things in life, they don't like that shit because they feel like you, they not gonna be, you know, in that spotlight no more. And it shouldn't be like that. You know what I'm saying? As for the cure, it's the same shit as before, man. You love yourself, man. Like, it should be no problem to be easy doozy, for, you know, not to hate. You know what I'm saying? It should be all good. Like, think of yourself like a dude, like a king or God. Not God, but like, you're like, you're the king of your own world. Everybody's the king of their own universe. And that's how it should be, alright? Peace. Laters.